Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for the nice introductions. It saves my some time. <laughs> so, so G uh, is basically a, a geospatial data sharing platform bang for Bangladesh. It is built uh, uh, with the open source uh, platform like called GeoNode, which is funded by the GFDRR. GFDR stands for the Global Facility for Disaster Risk Reductions, and it runs its operation through the World Bank in Bangladesh, and also I believe in Sri Lanka as well. <coughs> And uh, so GeoNode is actually is, uh, is using in the 30 more, uh, more than 30 countries, including USA, some of the European countries, and uh, in Asia as well, India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh. And uh, we have customized this GeoNode to build the geospatial geodash to meet the specific requirement of our, in our, in, with the context of our, our government or, or our stakeholders. So here we have a, a Bangladesh Computer Council in the in the Bangladesh under the ICT, ICT division, which is also the is now the owner of the GeoDash. So going to the uh, definition of the GeoDash, so it's actually uh, built for the uh, government agencies, uh, academia, and uh, any other like uh, uh, public users, and to make all the uh, GIS uh, guys or the uh, who are developing some kind of or producing data to in the one platform. So one of the reasons that we have built it, uh, so before going to the actually the what is the GeoDash is, uh, so I will to go through the some timelines and in the later I will go to the how you get integrated to the WSA2. So it, the journey has started in 2014. It has been uh, developed because of the, uh, to keep in mind of the disaster in, in, in perspective. You know the Bangladesh is a disaster uh, prone country. We have uh, lots of resources leaked through the uh, uh, disaster issues and something like that. So the main of the uh, reasons was that so government agencies are developing the GIS data uh, without knowing who, has, who is other is doing. For example, DDM is producing one data set and, and the uh, uh, Department of Disaster Management is doing, uh, producing one data set, whereas another, uh, another department also produced the same type of data or, uh, without knowing that other, other government agencies also have this data. So to reduce the redundancy uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, and also the collaborations, we have uh, GFDR start this project in 2014. In 2014, uh, after that 2015, we have handed over these uh, projects and ownership to the Bangladesh Computer Council. So now it's owned by the Bangladesh Computer Council, but World Bank is still funding these projects. And in, sept in September 2016, it is first time highlighted in the media and got the attention of the uh, public, uh, public sectors and the users and across all over the citizens. And in 2018, it is one of the milestones that Bangladesh has also adopted the, or developed national special data infrastructure, which is actually uh, built over this GeoDash platform. Okay, so this is the, uh, how it looks. And uh, you can you can go to the geodash.gov.bd to see actually the what's actually the, this uh, this offers, and we are currently we have uh, more than 50 organizations. It's a little older, uh, 50 organizations that you can see from here. This uh, actually registered in this uh, platform. We have 350 layers or GIS maps, and uh, users is almost 500 over 500. So these 50 uh, agencies now actually the using the geodash platform to upload their data. Although this platform is owned by a particular department of the government, but the data is uploading by their individual organizations and the ownership lies with them. So this is very important context because uh, all the data that has been in, uh, data is featuring in the GeoDash or GIS maps, that doesn't, uh, belongs to the platform owner. It belongs to the data, belongs to the individual organizations who is uploading. So that's why we have uh, some kind of complex scenarios, which is, I hope that uh, we can, uh, solved by the WSO2. We'll discuss it a little later. And uh, <clears throat> so one of the things that uh, for I giving you some, uh, for example, one of the data set I try to talk about like cyclone storm surge risk, 100 years return period. For example, these data sets tell us that in 100 years of time, if a cyclone hits, which part of the Bangladesh will be affected? And you can see that uh, this data set is, is developed by the Department of Disaster Management, but they can control who can view this data, who can download this data, who can uh, manage the metadata, who can manage the style, the look of the, you know, that uh, maps. You can change the color of the maps any times, but they can control actually uh, change the colors or of the, of the visual, visualization of the things. So there are many other 
permissions are there which can only controlled by the, the data uploader, not the platform owner. So this is a very fundamental difference here. And you can see that uh, also that a geodash is also applied for, sometimes you, in the real-time scenarios, one data set, one GIS map is not enough to answer a, to get a, answer complex questions like, uh, what about the electricity uh, availability or what is water or sanitation availability to the slums, people living in the slums? These are very important qu questions. So to understand that, we need to, under we need to import many data sets from different, different organizations. For example, here we can see that the, the, blue, uh, the orange dots, these are the people that are living in the slums. And we have the water network, we need the electricity accessibility, and it's not clear here. So this, there are one data set is from the water supply network, electricity supply network is given, and water slums is coming from the local divisions. So these data sets are producing by different, different organizations. If you want to see that how many people are getting the access of these different of the utility services, we need to bring all these data sets to one platform. And that's a huge challenge because usually the department don't share the data so frequently. So, but with the GeoDash, it's now possible that we can do it. And uh, where we can do many other of the analysis in the, with the GeoDash, like a core plot map, destinations, like in the Google. And one of the things, uh, problems we have actually in the, for the, with the, dealing with the government, government don't hold their data in the, into the Google or different countries' data server. So this, is, we have, this whole thing has been deployed in the national data centers, and all the data must be, all the government data must be within the you know that in the, in the data centers. So we need to have these features of the Google map or whatever you say, open street maps in the GeoDash. So for the period of time, we are adding these features one by one in this GeoDash. So there are many other features. For example, color plot map is very much required to compare the division-wise or district-wise or puzzle-wise, the progress of the, you know, that uh, uh, poverty level, the educations. So in a one quick visualization, we can analyze the, compare the who is actually doing better work, which administrative uh, officers is, is uh, or the body is doing, going ahead of the others. That kind of analysis we can do very easily with this, with this platform. So <clears throat> in order to find the impact of, the, of this platform, uh, some of the impacts that we get actually, you see that we already talked about the uh, redundancy issues. Another thing is that when you take some of the projects, we need some data. And for that, we have to go to the different, different of the, you know, that agencies to get the, collect these informations, and there will be lots of paperwork. So this is completely reduced. So one of the uh, issue that you know that we faced uh, most frequently with the cyclones and the and the flood. So for example, there are some of the uh, points you can see here. These are the points that is actually showing the cyclone shelters. And uh, during the disaster issues, we actually need to know what are the capacity of the, these shelters, how many people can be hold in these shelters, what are the water sanitary issues. You know that what, if the adults and girls are there, what are the facility for them there is, uh, we have. So this kind of data flow must be uh, coming through very uh, fast and quick and uh, to, uh, to get this analysis very quickly. And you know that uh, recently, in the recent events, the Rohingya people has influxes in, uh, into the Bangladesh. And there are many, you know, that area we need to convert to the housing or something like that. And uh, for that also, this uh, section is using. And uh, to host these people or to ha give the accommodation to these people, we need this information in advance. So, th so the US is pro providing of all this type of, you know, the informations and make it possible to uh, have uh, uh, through this platform. And uh, you see that, uh, uh, the, uh, and also helping us to, you know, that uh, to, uh, in cost minimizing, because uh, with this information, we actually know, know actually which, which facility you need to improve and which you know don't, which is not <coughs> otherwise. I don't know, I have a problem with this. <laughs> anyway, so some of the uh, things that we have achieved, actually, that Department of Disaster Management is, uh, is a very important uh, stakeholder of us, and uh, they actually hold their, all the data in the GeoDash, and Dhaka North Cities Corporation, South City Corporation, all these, all these uh, agencies, they have the data sets and they have their own system as well. So we need to integrate all these things and to have uh, this data into the GeoDash. 
and also that local government of uh, using the DDFGS special layers from the multi-hazard risk and MRVA, or it's a, it's a multi-hazard risk and vulnerability assessment of the across the whole Bangladesh, and uh, you know that uh, uh, to uh, uh, to invest in the micro uh, in the cyclo centers and everywhere. And uh, after in in 2016, we have uh, 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 survey of Bangladesh has initiate another project is called National Special Data Infrastructure. And uh, you can see that uh, NSDI is, uh, is very important and crucial because when we, we have the data platform now, but we don't have the authority to say that, okay, you share all your data in, in the GeoDash. Because it has some kind of you know, legal uh, uh, entity to actually say all those things. But NSDI is, is developed under the Defense Ministry and they are uh, preparing some law which will be supposed to pass in the in the national parliament and they will do, they will tell the organizations which data sets must be shared in the plat national platform and uh, who will be the owner of, of this data and ownership will be even though it will be lies with the department they will bound to share the data in the platform so this NSDI is will be have a different platform which is based on the geodash so now we have a two platform NSDI and the geodash so i'm not going to the details of these things, and quickly go to the actually the uh, next of the thing, like, uh, so already explained that. And in the next phase, we'll be also investing in the urban SGI. Urban SGI has came up because the resilience programs has been taken up in the Dhaka city and the Silet, where the, all the related stakeholders like fire service, police department, um, roads network, Dhaka city corporations, they'll have a different kind of map on a different kind of services. Like uh, if there is a fire service going to uh, answering any kind of uh, fire issues, they need to know the, where is the fire hydrants, exact location of that. So this kind of information is very much required and before they're going to that operations, they need to know the geolocation of these fire hydrants. So for that, we need to have a different kind of platform. So now in four years times, we have three platforms, Geodash, NSGI, and the Urban SGI. So the question is now coming that, the organization where they will upload these data sets, in the GeoDash, in the NSGI, or in the Urban SGI. So we are saying that the answer is actually the, we need a kind of, kind of solution to that, that uh, organization will upload the data in one platform, and other platform will access these data sets without kind of uh, knowing that where the data set is, but with the control of the data with those organizations. So we also have an, uh, another platform like uh, from the BBS, Bangladesh Bureau of Statistics, and, and more than five, five platforms in four years. So this is a big problem now. The problem is, we, I have the data sets, I want to upload all these five uh, platforms if they are not integrated. And if they're integrated, how will they will be integrated? So Bangladesh government has the answer for it. So they have uh, uh, deployed another concept of the Bangladesh National Enterprise Architectures. It is also funded by the World Bank. And uh, this actually uh, solved the issues of like uh, data sharing issues within the multiple platforms. So you see that uh, he say, uh, it's a complete solution for the e-services. Over the last 10 years, we have many op applications developed, like uh, passport applications, national identification database has been developed. The driving license is also now is online, the application completely through the, of this. So these things are actually now the uh, under the national enterprise architecture, and it is defined all the, all the standards, how the data will be shared, how the data will be fetched from one day on uh, applications and other applications, and it is defined by the, uh, uh, this, uh, 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 it's also hosted in the Bangladesh Computer Councils, where the GOD is hosting. So, so the overcome issue is like uh, uh, the, the security and the monetizations is one of the factors that is very important. And, uh, Develop an interoperable government following the IC roadmap, which is Bangladesh has uh, a digital Bangladesh 2020. They have declared. So, in one of them is the issue is like uh, using the API to have the connectivity among the, all the services. So, organizations remove, uh, remain unaware of the e-services, e and one of the things is that some of the organizations don't know actually what other services doing, whether they are the same of same thing or, or, or the different one, and how they could be connected with each other. And this is the, actually the, the problem statement, and we hope that, um, <clears throat> so with these problems, the answer is actually the WSO2, 
And we, uh, the Bangladesh government, have this WC2 API manager to actually connect all these services together. And hopefully that, uh, uh, as I said before, that about the security monitoring facilities, the data ownership issues will be the very key here. Because, for example, one of the department, uh, we have 50 separate departments in one uh, platform. And all these departments have their own policy of data, you know, that uh, uh, selling uh, issues. Like one, one department wants the, all the layers will be, all the, if they want to uh, share with any layers to any organizations, they want to charge for per, per layer basis. And some other charge as a whole, yearly basis. Some other organization may charge in different way. So there will be different kind of agreement to be signed to the, each of the organization to the platform owners. So that users can be know that which organization will sell the data in which way. So we have been talking about the yesterday whole day with the WSU2, you know, that uh, service provider here and the managers. So they give us, uh, they told us it's possible with this uh, WSU2. And uh, in the last four months, actually, we're trying to integrate the WSU2 with the GeoDash. Successfully, we have done some of the works. And hopefully, in the future, in the, with the help of WSU2, we can have this all the answers of the security and the monetization. So next is actually the, uh, currently, we have a, uh, some of the services is kind of already connected with the WSO2, one of the citizen national identification database. So this is required to check with the, when someone is applied for the pop, uh, passport applications, the, they need to check with the, their ID, with the national ID. This is already done through the WSO2. There is another one is the pay service fixations for the employee management, and Juris is also there. And we have a six months back of the problem with the food department, so now we are develop, they are developing food security systems and integrate the GeoDash. So the problem was since six months back, the government suddenly have a um, shortfall of the, you know, the rice and the food grains uh, because in paper, they have the full capacity in the livest in the warehouses, but in reality, there is, actually those are empty. So when this information came out, suddenly there is a price hike in the market and it took a lot of time to actually cope up with these problems. So now they actually, the, we are deploying the software to, to know actually which warehouse have which capacity, and GeoDash in the platform will show the, all, the livest, all the warehouses, what is the uh, capacity of these warehouses, and of which truck, kind of the, the uh, load of truck load is entering to the, with the food grains, what quantity has been entered there, what, when they take out uh, some of the, them, what quantity has been left, with the time management, uh, the time series data, it will be present in the GeoDash, and that connected to the WSU2 framework and the service bus. So this type of problems is there. Means one with, with the, uh, uh, here only at the pension, in the, uh, suppose someone is retired, so banks and the, you know, they, they need to know actually the uh, details of these persons who have uh, uh, applied for the, you know, that uh, uh, pension schemes or something like that. So this type of, with the bank, they need to connect with the NID. They also need to connect with the concern department, whether his everything has been cleared or from the department or not. So you see that, uh, uh, so at the moment, there are three services is connected. We hopefully in the, in the next uh, years, it will be grow more and more. And uh, just yesterday I came to know that WC2 has no idea that Bangladesh is using the WC2 platform. Uh, I really wondered that I really, uh, how it's happened. Maybe uh, Bangladesh uh, National Enterprise Architecture was employed by the Ernst and & Young, and from the Indian uh, India office, they have managed this. Probably they have, have introduced this to the Bangladesh government. And the programmer in the BCC, they were good enough to actually to read the documentations and make the WSA2 uh, happen uh, or integrate this WSA2 framework with the services. So I must mention that the technical writing or the document is very good, that they can cop up with or read the, those documents and employ it in the, our service. So I hope the WSC2 have a, will have a direct connection with the Bangladesh Computer Council, uh, so that uh, if, so right now it's only three services, but I, I believe in six months or next year, we have 20 more services to be integrated, and then we need, must, must have a, some kind of collaboration, direct collaboration with the WSC2 with our uh, Bangladesh Computer Council. So, so next slide, with the, that slide I want to end of this presentation is like, uh, so another aspect that we want to uh, do into employing in the next uh, three or four months, we are thinking of, Bangladesh has employed the 999 service, 
with the 99 service, they can call to the police stations, and police station can, you know, that uh, attend to the any, any victim support. But at the moment, we don't have the correct location of these victims at at this moment. But with the help of Geo Dash, we will show the uh, police department see that uh, the victim location precisely, and so that they can respond to any emergency call. So that is possible with that uh, again with the national identification database, we will connect, geodesh will be connected, and police will know where exactly the victims. So I hope uh, uh, in the, with the future, uh, we have a very good uh, relationship with WSO2, with our, all, the, uh, all the services, e-services and all. So with that, thank you very much for this.